Hey guys, John, back again. Um, today I'm going to do a little video on a little problem I have. Um, just a disclaimer up front, if you're don't not comfortable doing this or um, you're not sure what you're doing, consult an electrician, don't do this by yourself. But I'll tell you what my problem is. <clears throat> I put in a new, new cooktop and the new cooktop needed a um, a different uh, breaker cooktop was rated for 50 amps and I had a 40 amp in the breaker box and I had 8 gauge wire going to it but I found a little problem um, first of all the cooktop started coming on on its own and it had some kind of defect so I switched it up with a new cooktop different brand the uh, last one was KitchenAid and uh, KitchenAid didn't think that there was a problem with their cooktop coming on in the middle of the night. And then me waking up in the morning with two burners on full, uh, that's not safe at all. And um, I just felt that was a, that should have been a defect. But they, um, at first they sent a tech out, then tech looked at it, told me to lock the uh, control panel and um, lock the control panel. And then a couple days later it happened again with the control panel locked. So called them back and they were like well we can send out another tech in a week or so almost like uh, no big deal so I said no I'm gonna take it back get my money back because we only had it for a couple months and bought a Samsung so the Samsung only requires a 40 amp so to be safe I'm gonna switch back to a 40 amp breaker um, I still have a little issue that I'll show you and I think this is something that uh, might need an electrician to look at because what they've done is they ran eight gauge wire off of the breaker and then put a wire nut off and then put 10 gauge to one to the cooktop and one to the oven. And 10 gauge running 30 amp is okay, but 10, ga 10 gauge running 40 amp is um, not a good idea, even though 40 amp is at the very high of its use. If I have all five burners running at, at, uh, at full, the new cooktop puts out uh, 10,500 watts at uh, 240 volts that's like 43 amps so that's running at full speed so I'm gonna have an electrician look at possibly running a new wire to the cooktop and the uh, oven but so to do this here I got a, the 40 amp breaker that I'm gonna put back in it's really simple it's not that difficult to do you just have to be careful because you got a lot of juice running in here the bottom of this breaker panel, I got two. This panel runs mostly to our second floor. And then this panel runs most of the first floor. Um, but it's running 200 amps, so that's pretty high. And you just got to be careful. So the first step we're going to do is we're going to kill this breaker. Once we kill this, this kills the bars going up to all these. And this is the breaker that we're going to take out. This goes to, no, this one. It's a 50 amp going to the cooktop in the oven. So I'm going to go ahead and kill that. I don't have to worry about it. So the only tools you're going to need is a flathead. Now, you can, so you can get a um, nut driver with a square tip on it. Like this, this is a... Let's see what size. It doesn't really. And it looks like S2. This is the square tip. And this tip works right inside these screws that hold the breaker panel on. But it also works inside these screws for the breaker itself. So what we're going to do is take off the bottom of these first cut all the screws off just pull the panel straight out and down so those two main wires at the bottom is where you got to watch out for that's what you got to be careful of those are the feeds coming in and then there's your ground bar right here 
and then you have bars on going all the way up one will be if you look here you have these two posts one would carry one that was my AC unit coming on <laughs> one would carry one 120 the other one carry the other 120 for 240 so we're gonna switch these out so if you see this is the breaker we're dealing with here you have those two thick wires one with the red and the other one black those are 8 gauge but you see these wire nuts they go up to these wires up here that are 10 gauge oh there it is over there it's the red black and white let me see if you can see that come up a little bit right there with the orange around it 10 gauge should not be used for anything above 30 amp especially in hot climates where your ambient temperature gets up to like 170 degrees in your attic um, that actually lowers the uh, safe zone for the wiring so I gotta go in and let everybody know that uh, I'm gonna kill power to half the house and then I'll show you how you swap this breaker out all right back so first thing we do kill power you hear AC and everything go off second thing we do this is the breaker we want to switch take a flathead screwdriver stick it right between the two breakers and pry this one back and that'll pop it out because it just pries in with these two prongs so we pry this breaker out kind of pull it rock it this way pull it out once I pull this out you can look inside there and see the two poles there's one on the bottom and one on top that's where these go into so all we got to do is take our tool square one go up here loosen that And remember, once now I got this breaker separated from the panel, it pretty much the wiring going to the oven cooktop has no power, even if the breaker was on. It's not a good idea to do that though. Okay. Put that one up. That one up. Here's my 40 this in put my feet in there there we go Tighten it up a little bit, get the other one in. tighten on both of them so there's the new breaker so now if you see those two plastic right here and right here I don't know if you can see them. I'll move the camera a little closer or reposition the light now see those plastic tabs nail gun moving on me those plastic tabs hook on to the back 
of the breaker. So you slide the breaker in from the back, kind of rock it into those plastic tabs, make sure it's secure. You kind of pull on a little bit, make sure it's tight, and then go and push it in. That's it. Put my new, put my uh, 200 amps back on. Power comes on. My 40 amp. Back on. I should now have power to my cooktop. Everything should be good. Put the cover back on. Get my face in here. Put your cover back on. Secure everything. Make sure you mark your breaker if you put in a new breaker. I did that over here. I added this garage breaker and then put a 220 outlet right below it just ran the wiring straight up because I had a space there as you could see my my breaker panels are pretty full I got room for maybe one 120 circuit if I wanted to run one more but uh, other than that that's it it's pretty simple it's not that difficult you just need to make sure when you get your breaker that you concentrate on the type and you make sure you get the right breaker for your panel. Got any questions? Just uh, leave the comments below and subscribe. Y'all have a good one.